Hey folks, how are you doing? Welcome to day 97 of Mendel's Colossus Memories, coming to you from Curfew Town, Melbourne. Uh, hi Rupert, how are you doing? Uh, he's interested in what's happening. Uh, nice day! It's the last day before Melbourne plunges into, you know, it is winter after all. So I'm just going to enjoy it. Uh, a note though, <laughs> I have killer magpies out the front who, who only attack people on bikes, but they really attack people on bikes. So if you hear screaming, it's probably that. So uh, let's, let's just see what happens. Like, oh, hi, sweetie. How are you? Is that a good spot to sit? It is. Oh, it's so sunny and useful. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. So today's Arms Day. Arms Day and Arm Day. All of them and both of them. Uh, so let's just do this and uh, try not to kick the cat because I think that would be... Good thing. Not to kick him. Kicking him wouldn't be good. To not kick him would be a good thing. I'm gonna go. <laughs> Sorry. Three, two, one, go. Okay. Just finding being hip with the pup. Right next to your cat. But sinking down. Head going up. Thanks for a bit. And rolling. So while we're doing this, just think about finding the release through the body, localizing all your tense, and inviting that to let go. Remember the head wants to fly, float towards the ceiling, the butt wants to sink right down into the center of the earth. And imagine a nice friendly ghost is doing these movements for you. So this is pretty passive for you. Head still going up, butt going down, release through the neck. Okay, turn the wrists out and keep going. Find a good old yawn. And now turn the wrists in and keep going. Now if the arms want to start to tighten because we're doing so much movement, just encourage the shoulder blades to open up. Good, and now just opening up. Let go, just let this be like a windmill. Not a windmill, I mean, what windmill actually looks like this? <laughs> Beautiful. And just lightly going forwards. Lifting up still from the top of the head. Good, and going forwards. Release through the neck where it's getting tight. Good, and down. Squeezing up, and down. Up, and release. He's trying to contemplate whether he wants to go back to his hot water bottle and we've decided that we do. Good, all right, just going super light. Not too extreme at this point, we're not super warm yet. I am letting my hips go with me to start off. I start off, but the knees are soft. So I'm not putting any pressure on the knees that go around and I'm just letting the natural movement will naturally let you start to extend further around. Make sure you only go in a spot. Don't put the side to side movement like this. Just rotating on the central axis. Good, now just change the movement a little bit. So I'm just hitting on the chest and behind where the kidneys are. So the arms are still floppy, but all that happens is at the end, I just bend the elbows and just control where they land. You probably won't go with, well, not with my music anyway. It won't fit. Just go in your own rhythm. So concentrate on the movement coming from the hips, so don't worry about the arms. Don't stress about what we call end gaming, the end result. Just turn the hips, let that turn the shoulders and swing the arms, and right at the end, just put the focus on the arms moving. Beautiful, now we're just gonna open it out, arms a little higher, and let's, allow, let's now keep the hips still and just rotate the shoulders. Take your head with you to start off with. Really soften, feel like you're lengthening the area from your earlobes down to the tops of your shoulders. And now keep the head facing forwards. Good, all right, feet leveling off, bend down, lifting up, and just circle. In fact, let's do this. 
multitasking. I just totally changed which way I was circling then. Go the other way. Good, and forward and back. Relax your butt cheeks. Relax through the diaphragm. Stay up there. At and in. Figure of eights. The weight should be on the ball of the grounded foot. Try and keep on balance. Stay up there. Yes, I know. And the other way. You're like, what about the arms, my dog? All in good time. Other leg. Wrists and ankles. Relax your butt cheeks. Feel the relief now that's going through that leg. Just change direction. Of all the potential energy you've you brought up, built up, now it can release through the body. Yes, forwards and back with the knee. Lifting up through the head, sinking down through the back, back, but release the small of the back. And circling through. Just do what you want with your arms for the moment. But I'd recommend keeping them more central, just so they don't um, tip you off balance. Weight on the ball of the foot. Good, and circle. Keep smiling, it makes it easier. Release the butt. And the other way, I like the level. Good, lay down. And let's get rid of all that tension, well done. Let's do two in a circle, go in a little long, two circle, one, two circle, one, two circle, one, two circle, good. Reaching up and just pushing, two, three, four, five. It's like a squeeze. And now in bent arms. Go a little lower with the legs. If you're feeling like you're getting warm up, warmed up, you can take that a little further with that movement. Good, out and in. Get a nice squeeze across the chest. So I am actually sticking my chest out a little bit as I go forwards. Good, and push. And start taking a high, get a little bit of a walk through the feet. Really push away the walls, go down low. Good, reaching up, one hand in front of the other in circle, staying in a horse stance. So if your butt's trying to climb up your back, let it relax, change directions. You love it. Change arms. Circle. And the other way. And figure of eight. And really start to work through the legs. So we're going to go weight shift from one side to the other. Keep the head the same height so you're not rising and falling. Changing direction, yes. That's one thing I've achieved during lockdown. And the other arm. So I'm really working through the core here. The arm's pretty passive. Working through the core, working through the feet. Change direction. Yes. Good. Wrists. Same way. Good. And 
squeeze down, squeeze, release. Squeeze between the shoulder blades, squeeze, release. And from the ground, up and down. Squeeze between the shoulder blades. Good. Circling. And yes, I am going fast. I'm going fast by relaxing through the arms and just working through the feet. Good, just relaxing down. Plopping out one hip then the other. I haven't heard anyone die outside yet, that's good. Good, take the feet where they're comfortable, fluffy out. So the legs are straight but they're not locked. Change which arms on top. Good, bend the knees, running arms. Gonna go one side, then the other side. This is very serious, don't laugh. Keep going. Good, back down again, bend arms up. Good, one straight, the one bent, straight, bent. Just keep on changing which arm comes on top without whacking yourself. Good, bend the knees and pulses back. And above the head, pulses back. Good, relax down. And just turn into a down dog and just to walk through that. Lift the butt towards the ceiling. Keep walking and now put a twist through the body as you go. Good. Settle the feet down and we're going to go into some pushes, so elbows towards the knees, then back up. Two. So keep the knee, the elbows pointing towards your feet rather than winging out to the side. Two more. Last one. Good. Bend the knees. I'm going to go left, right, left, and then the other way, right, left, and keep reversing that. So now we're going to do a little routine, we've done this before, we're going to go left, right, up, up, jump, jump, down, and up, right. Jump the other way. Jump, jump. Good, back into a down dog. And just stretch out for a sec. Back on to your knees. And just roll to the shoulders, just to warm us up. Good. Just coming into all fours and just do a couple of lifts up and down through the shoulder blades. I'm just going to change sides. Okay, into a push-up position. Down, two, three, four. Out. Behind. Out. Arms down, up, two, three, and again, down, two, three, four, out, behind, out, tuck under, let's do a stroke hand of two if we can, down, two, one, two, three, hand, up, two, down, two, one, two, three, and up, keep going. How much do 
see you love this, right? Okay, now we're gonna go down, two, three, four, out, in. Up, two, three, and wiggle, wiggle. Down, two, three, four, out, in. Up, two, three, four, let's go, double time. Down, two, out, in. Up, two, wiggle. <laughs> Couple more times. Last one. Good, back to your knees. We go out the back, well done. And arching through the back. Up and down. Beautiful, circling around to the left. One, two, three, four, five, and the other way. Beautiful, all right, up into a plank again. Just holding here for a sec, engage the shoulder blades. Beautiful, now we're gonna do reaching out, through, out, and down. Replace the other arm. Through, out, and again. Out, through, out, and down. And again, out, through, out, and down, out, through. Good, now from here, draw through the body to go up, then down, drawing through the body to start with, and down. Up, and down. Now we're gonna go slower and keep the arms straight. Down, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, down, two, three, four. Now we're gonna go all the way up, through, all the way up and down, up, through, up and down. Two more, as in one each side. Beautiful, straight down into a push-up position. Hold it, don't touch the ground. Go on your knees if you need to. One more set of eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Collapse. <laughs> Just clean out the legs. <laughs> you rocked it. Two pulses here. Okay, good. So our isolation to spare position. Squeeze the shoulders and down. Squeeze between the shoulder blades. So that's your standard. If you're feeling good. I'm going to go with the hands behind the back, uh, behind the head. Squeeze between the shoulder blades. Now, if you're feeling good, we're going to go up. Twist, twist, and down. Twist the other way. Twist, twist, and down. A couple more. Up, twist, twist, and down. Up, twist, twist, and good. Hands in the knee. Pushing into an upward dog. Tuck the toes underneath, butt to the ceiling, down dog and walk through. Beautiful. Just gonna turn over. Holding a plank, keep the fingers away from you. 
lift the hips high. No one is positioned. Careful that you don't overextend the elbows. So if you feel like your elbows are bending backwards, put a slight bend in them. Lifting up high through the hips. Good, coming down. Reach up and wiggle down over. Just reaching forwards and back up. Good, now fingers pointing towards the butt. And lifting up. And we're going to do push-ups. So, one, two. If this is working for you, you're going to raise the leg up. Change. 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 Beautiful. This would not be arm day if we didn't do our sequence. I'm not going to start with the elbows in, we've done a lot of that already, starting with the elbow hands out. Do what you can in a count of eight, go for quality over quantity, so hands wide. Just waiting for the music. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. Engage the shoulder blades. Two, three, looking forward to your mat, four. Five, six, seven, and eight. Good stuff. Roll through the shoulders. Next ones, thumb facing forwards. Five, six, seven, and eight. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven and eight. Diamonds, you know you love it. Five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And eight, go into a child's pose and die for a second. <laughs> Good, into all fours, reaching forward, opposite arm and leg, and down. So use this as your recovery. Yes, I mean that. Keep going, just changing sides. That plan's getting bigger. Okay, now we're gonna go up, sideways, up, and down, up, sideways, up, and down. Beautiful. Okay, leg goes in and kick. Now, if you're happy as you kick, we do a little push up. So we go in and push. Keep the elbows in. Changing over. So, starting with the standards. Three. And here we go. So, <laughs> I have to always wait for the music. Oh, actually, it doesn't really suit the music, this one. So, let's just go through it. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Beautiful. Bring your knees in, rolling up through the spine, rolling through the shoulders, and just start to do some walks. And you're gonna love this, hands to the side, and bounce. Get the hips going. Hands up, keep going. And thumbs up, keep going. Thumbs down, keep going. You can do what you want with the hips. 
Okay, back of the hand up and circle. Breathe, smile, relax the neck. You look great. Go backwards. Breathe, lift to the hips, take your mind off the hands. Turn the wrists up, circle forwards. And circle back. Smile, makes it easier. Don't swear at me. Okay, we're gonna do four to the front and four to the back. Two, three, four to the back. And to the front, turn the hands. Keep going. Half circles. Keep smiling. And bigger half circles. Good. Into alligators. Into pools. Good. Open and close. Elbow to knee. Yes. And the other one. Lifting up tall to the hips. Beautiful. Stepping out wide and swing the arms. Get rid of all that tension. Get a nice deep knee bend as you go. Really release from the center spine. And swinging in a figure of eight. Change direction. Good, good, just roll through the shoulders. Well, that was exhilarating, wasn't it? It's great, it's really great. Hand in front of chest. So keep the shoulder blades still pulling back, like not super engaged, but just don't pull this forward like this. Good to feel alive, isn't it? Yeah, and the other one. Good, one hand behind, bend the knees and just put a circle through that. Make sure you keep the head up, don't let the head bend forwards. And change direction of the circle. Keep those knees soft. Good, changing arms. Okay, I haven't heard any magpie casualties yet, but doing well. Change direction. Beautiful, stepping wide, bend over. So this time at the moment I'm straightening both one leg and the other. Good. Now just stay in the centre. So I'm kind of leaning away from the one that I'm bending towards. Does that make sense? I'm leaning away from the one I'm bending towards. Hmm, what am I doing? Clarity is always good. Good. Arms wide. Bend. And through. Good, the center, we're rolling up. Now what we're gonna do is we have bend there and then straighten and stretch. Try and touch the wall. Bend the knees, other side. Over, stretch, both legs are straight. Try and touch the wall. And again, 
Both legs are bent, both legs are straight. And the other way. Good, bending forwards again. Wrap yourself in a hug around the chest. And just breathe deep into the chest so that each time you breathe in, you feel like the arms are separating, the fingers are separating. Good, bend the knees, rolling up through the spine. And just to finish, I'm just gonna sweep around. Just keep the legs, it can be like a bent or straight. Mine is straight but not locked. Just really open up. If you want to, you can arch a little bit here if you're feeling secure with that. Beautiful, reaching forwards all the way down. Legs straight as far as you feel comfortable. Then just place the fingertips on the floor, lift the butt into the sky, and pull back again to those fingertips, relaxing the neck. Breathe deep. And just take yourself across to the left leg. And just stretch in there. If you feel like you're comfy with that, then what you can do after you turn off your... Turn off. <laughs> Sorry. There we go. Take this. Wow. Uh, take this and stretch. When I say take this, I mean take your arm. So if you're stretching over to your left leg, I'm back with you now. Take the left arm, <laughs> the right arm, and just stretch a little further. Good. Now bend that. <laughs> We got there in the end. Go towards your right leg. If you're feeling comfortable with that, take the left arm and stretch a little further. Good. Then with your fingertips, with the legs straight as you feel comfortable, we'll just creep the fingertips out in a big old circle as far as you feel comfy. And then all the way back the other way, nice and easy. And back to center, just swinging through from side to side, nice and relaxed. Come to the center, bend the knees, adjust the feet so they're a bit more comfy, rolling up through the spine, stacking one vertebra on top of the other. And then find your convenient uh, window frame or wall. And stretch out. Why is my neighbor coughing again? Seriously. Pretty sure she's fine. <laughs> Change. Oh, it's all right. We're in stage one lockdown anyway. Good. And then just, again, stretch out sideways. And then the other way. And then just to finish, <laughs> cross the arms over and up. You can hold on to, if not otherwise, just keep them parallel, lifting up and forwards. So up with that whole arm, then forwards with the forearms. If you want, you can do a small circle here just to help get between the shoulder blades. And circle the other way. And change over. And just put the chin to chest, lock the hands behind, just allow the weight of the elbows. My knees are slightly bent, allow the weight of the elbows just to extend that. And just shake everything out. Rolling up through the spine. Amazing. Great team. Thanks for joining me again. Leg day tomorrow. I don't know about you, but I feel buzzy now. That's surely the good thing. Uh, so I hope you're feeling buzzy as well. Go Melbourne! Go Victoria! We've got this! Yes! Be kind to yourself.
yourself. Be kind to others. Please stay safe. Lots of love. Bye.